What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Wave 1 Disney Plus Captain America Build a Figure Wings Falcon and the Winter Soldiers Baron Zemo. Try and get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. It Search your feelings, you know it be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. While you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. And we have a new segment here called Why Give a Shart. So why do I give a shart about Baron Zemo? I mean, there's a time where we had a lot of weak villains in the MCU and Baron Zemo is not one of them. So I was really happy with the character in Civil War and I am very happy with the character in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You can see the backdrop over there inside the packaging looking pretty sweet. On the side, you can see Baron Zemo with the mask on. On the back, there's Baron Zemo with the mask on again. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then on the side, you get Baron Zemo again. No logo or anything on the very top. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's Helmet Zemo in a bad dancing pose because hey, why not? But anyway, I will talk about the things that I like about this figure as well as the things that I don't like. But first, let's get a closer look at the accessories. So aside from the Build-A-Figure piece and the two head sculpts, we get all these accessories over here. It's not a lot, but it's nice. You get the Winter Soldier book right over there. You get a pair of fisted hands, and then you get a left pointing finger hand, and then a right gold gun holding hand, and then this gold gun. Uh, he had the gold gun? Why do I not remember this? But it looks good. We've seen this so many times in many Marvel Legends. Uh, the gold looks very solid right over here, but I really do like him having uh, the little notebook right over here. That's cool race car. Homecoming. Street Fighter V. And then you can see uh, these hands look really good with all of this sculpted detail in them and everything. You can see all those riveted patterns in there. So nice, clean paint apps. Unfortunately, I did get a break on this one right here. Oh, it frustrates me. You can see how uh, this pin that goes through that loop right there for that horizontal hinge had snapped on me. So I can't really use this hand too much. Don't expect to see a whole bunch of pictures of Zemo with this hand right here. So that is unfortunate. That bums me out. However, at least it wasn't the fisted hand because yeah i'd much rather have this hand than this one <laughs> I really think Hasbro nailed the likeness to Daniel Brühl over here with this head sculpt. I mean, it really looks like him, doesn't it? Uh, I just think they did a fantastic job over here. Those eyes, man. He's got those scary eyes, and they translate very well with this figure. One thing that throws me off, though, is that they have, like, purple right there mixed in with the brown. That is really weird. I don't know if it's like that with everybody's copy, but that's like, yeah, instead of black... They went with purple, which I just think is just a, such an odd choice. So that does weird me out a little bit. He does have one mole that looks like it's out of place. Uh, he's supposed to have that one right there on the chin. I thought this was supposed to be closer to his nose, but whatever, man. And then it looks like we get a new upper torso. It looked familiar to me, but I can't pinpoint exactly what figure this came from, if I'm even right about that. So I could be wrong, but I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. But we get this nice trench coat over here to see like a, you know, like a tan over the white so i really do like seeing that trench coat overall i think is really badass i really like that these new arms look really good nice little stitching coming along the back right over there looking great with no pins showing so he's all pinless many many pinless figures throughout this wave i really like that a lot and then we get this new added belt right over here added to this and then the legs oh it's the same thing with the whole crotch but then the legs themselves are actually uh, just the chameleon body mold legs oh the hip joints right there are new also those lines are new so starting from the thigh all the way down it's just chameleon body mold legs and then when you get to the shoes we get these new shoes so these are unique and different and they have a little bit of silver on the sides right there with those buckles so that's cool to see then he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet and then you can see the back of the trench coat over here looking really cool and slender and then you can see that we get a dumbbell joint right there so it's a double dumbbell joint and we have this brand new 
masked head sculpt and whenever I see a new villain that has a mask or something on the face of the villain that looks extremely reminiscent to the comic version it just makes me happier to see so that is very cool I love that really cool looking mask right over here so happy they gave him his mask fortunately you do get some gappage when you look at the back of the figure if his head's tilted down so be careful with your posing yeah I do prefer oh man it looks really bad right over there but yeah I do prefer uh the neck disc hinge rather than the double ball joint I just wanted to check the gappage with the other head it's not as bad it's there but i don't know it doesn't seem as bad so yeah again still wish we had the disc hinge let's get this back on now to go over the baron zemo articulation for the heads it's basically the same you can get them to look up that far oh, again the cabbage is so weird over there it does shift forward and back and we'll look down but yeah there's that cabbage again you do get great head pivoting though so you, there is that of course you can turn the head side to side shoulders will move outward that far so i'm not feeling like a t-pose is really possible with this one you can't get the arms in this far you could rotate a full 360 bicep swivel pinless double jointed elbows right there these fists hands turn side to side and they hinge up and down the other two hands they have a horizontal hinge as i explained earlier and then you get an ab crunch forward right here an ab crunch back that doesn't really work so well because the trench coat gets in the way but it does function you get a waist swivel right over here and then the hips will move outward if you can get the clearance set up for it but yeah his legs can move outward that much you can get him kicking forward very far back a little bit upper thigh cut double jointed knees and then the ankles do move down they don't move up which makes this figure extremely hard to stand i wanted to try a bunch of different dancing poses and just because of those ankles not being able to move up it's just very frustrating but at least it has ankle pivot now to measure out this baron zemo figure you can see that he is standing right under the six and a half inch mark then for an mcu avengers villain figure comparison you can see that we have zemo right here next to loki and then for another trench coat villain we have the red skull i am surprised to see red skull standing a little bit shorter than baron zemo over here did not expect that then for a purple avengers mcu villain comparison we have baron zemo next to thanos and then here's baron zemo next to io and some of the other dora milaje figures and then for a baron zemo comparison we have our mcu version right here and here we have our comic version from the stcc exclusive i just want to show these two side by side and I am curious to see what a head swap would look like. It actually kind of looks cool. I don't know. I know it's not film or show accurate or anything, but I don't know. It's damn it can't stand kind of neat kind of neat let's see here Ooh, that looks kind of cool like it doesn't really match perfectly but you know if customizers wanted to play around with it you could and then here's baron zemo next to all of the other figures from this wave that i've already reviewed we have the scarlet witch we have the rebirth vision we have the winter soldier and we have loki and one thing i'm just noticing right now is that all five of these characters have been a villain in the MCU in one way or another. Then here's Baron Zemo next to your average 600 scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Whoa, you're a pretty badass dancer. And I'm a pretty badass dancer. Come on, let's be some badass dancing bros. Yeah! Bro. Ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this content via the Tron and membership. If you're in the position to do so and you're interested, check it out. Link below or hit that join button. In this figure, I honestly gotta say, I am more excited about just having the figure in my collection more than I feel like I'm happy with the actual execution of the figure. It's a tricky time getting him to stand. Uh, it took a lot of tries for me to get him on this rotating base like this. It's those chameleon body mold ankles. It's not even exactly the feet, those legs from the thigh to the ankles over there. It's just, ah, uh, those ankles. Anyway, uh, I have that issue with the gap from the neck and the head. I have that issue with my wrist peg breaking. So I do have a bunch of issues with this figure. However, I love both head sculpts i like the new jacket and everything the body mold is great we got pinless joints and everything on the elbows so there's still a lot for me to be happy for i've wanted this figure from the mcu or this character from the mcu in my collection for a while so i'm happy to have it still even with all of those complaints at the price point from 22 to 25 bucks i'm going to give this figure a sub rating of it's not so bad and i'd like to know what you guys think of the baron zemo so please let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest in marvel news you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and if you want to stay in touch with me on social media you can find me over on instagram twitter and twitch and i'll catch you guys later peace <laughs>
Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.